Shreya Mishra, welcome to NDTV. Thank you so much for having me here, Nikunj. Uh, tell me something. There's a lot of talk about solar energy. There's a lot of talk about a uh, uh, lot of talk about house, household solar energy policy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it, is it actually viable? Is it actually workable? You see, we have all seen large solar. You, uh, one can say, you know, greenfield projects uh, in the country. That is fine with the prices of the batteries, with the prices of the renewables going down. That's fine. But how does it work on the rooftops? Remember, India is a country of small households. You know, we have small, unlike United States, we have smaller household areas. And consequently, our rooftops are also not going to be huge where you can put up all these solar panels and effectively, effectively connect yourself to grid. So how effective is this? I mean, how much can we walk the talk in this case? No, absolutely. I think this is a common misconception or myth that a lot of consumers have. Uh, actually, rooftop solar requires very little space. To power a typical 2 or 3 BHK middle class family home, even if it has 2 or 3 air conditioners, all you need is just about 400, 500 square foot of shadow free space. So actually rooftop solar is very, very space efficient. And typically uh, families that put up rooftop solar are able to power everything. 100% of their electricity requirements via rooftop solar. So space-wise, this is not really a constraint for individual homes. Uh, what people living in metros live in, you know, see vertical living, but most of India has horizontal living. The tier one cities, tier two cities, rural cities, even a Bangalore or a Pune or a Hyderabad, more than 50-60% population lives in individual homes, which do actually have sufficient rooftop space to install rooftop solar. So actually, this is a big myth that space is a constraint. Uh, in fact, India has about 26 crore households with an electricity connection, out of which 6 to 7 crore households are individual homes with a pakka roof, middle class and above families, which can actually take the benefit of rooftop solar. And how yeah. much power do you think uh, that uh, those households, set of households can generate? And what it, would it cost an individual household, let's say per year, uh, right from installation and then to renewables? How much will it cost an individual household? Right, absolutely. So 80% of families in India, which are you know middle income families, which don't have an air conditioner. Uh, most families have like a two wheeler, no electric vehicle yet, no air conditioners yet. So for a middle class family, if we take a typical rooftop solar size, it will be three kilowatt. That is the most commonly sold, roughly 70 to 80% of homes in India are taking a three kilowatt solar. On a three kilowatt solar, government of India will give you 78,000 rupees in subsidy. Now, depending on the technology choice you make, design of roof, the type of solar you know, system you're going to buy, uh, you will get a 3 kilowatt solar after subsidies in anywhere between 1.3 to 1.5 lakh rupees. Now, this so you mean, to say, you mean to say the total installation cost is close to? 1.3 to 1.5 lakh rupees after subsidy. After right? subsidy. So that means, yes. you know, one and a half lakh rupees of initial expenditure. Yes, yes. And on this expenditure, you will get roughly on a monthly basis 3,000 to 4,000 rupees of electricity bill savings. So imagine if you're paying, let's say, 8 rupees of electricity, which is the basic tariff and bulk of India today, you will be saving 3,000 rupees a month on a 3 kilowatt solar. So 36,000 rupees a year, right? So in five years, you will more than make up for the initial investment of 1.3 to 1.5 lakh rupees that you have done. And this rooftop solar will give you free electricity for 25 years. So the economic case of solar is actually very, very clear and very, very well understood now by the masses. Uh, in India, actually, till date, under the subsidy scheme of Government of India, roughly 6 lakh homes have installed rooftop solar up until December 23. In the last three months, of course, after the Pradhan Mantri Suryadhar Yojana, the interest is very, very high. And I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, one or two lakh homes have already gone solar in the last three months in India. Uh, so, you know, so people do understand the benefit and uh, the economic case is very, very good. You know, the problem with all this new technology or let's say, you know, non-fossil fuel technology, be it in the EV, be it in the solar the issue is of battery, is issue is of the solar cells here, as you would probably call them cell tech solar, uh, that, that's the issue. What is the replacement cost and how soon, you know, uh, because see, the technology may become cheap, but then there would be always a danger of damage because you are installing them on a shadow free area, which would also mean cover free area. There'll be no cover yeah. over them. Uh, yeah. The damage, uh, then, the, then the, the battery life, 
the recharge life, that, that, that renewable cost, I mean the, the cost of renewing the renewable product then uh, also becomes an impediment in, in such technologies almost always. Right. So again, you know, I'd like to, you know, share uh, some of the facts, which, you know, this is a common misconception and I'm, I'm happy to clarify that. So firstly, all of solar in India is grid connected. So we do not buy batteries with solar in India. These are all on-grid solar systems. That is because India as a country has made net metering a legal right for residential consumers. So every homeowner with an electricity connection in India, it is a fundamental legal right that he can access net metering. Now, what is net metering? Solar produces power during the sunshine hours. So what happens post-sunset? How do you produce your power from solar? You can actually, just the way you park battery during sunshine uh, Park electricity in the battery during sunshine hours, you have to spend on the battery. Government of India has said that the grid, the Indian grid is your free, uh, you know, capacity to store electricity. So homeowners actually park electricity into the grid during sunshine hours. Post sunset, they take it back from the grid. And this facility is called net metering. This is one, a legal right. Two, it is free in most parts of India. So with this, Indian families actually don't have to invest in batteries, number one. So that question is answered. Number two, coming to the solar system itself. A solar system has more than 70 components. The three main components will be the solar panel, which is made of the solar cells that we just spoke about. Second is the, so the solar inverter. And third is the structure or the module mounting structure on which you install these solar panels, right? So those are the three main components. There are more than 70 other components. Now, the life of the panel itself is actually 25 to 30 years. Right. And it actually does not require any replacement unless there's a manufacturing defect, in which case you can get a warranty replacement or if there is, you know, some kind of physical damage, which is not very common, honestly. But uh, in that scenario, you know, you will have to incur some replacement cost. But, uh, you know, airports, uh, railway stations, government buildings, uh, solar power plants, uh, you know, big, big parks, they've all had solar panels for years and years and decades, actually. Uh, without uh, actually incurring any kind of major replacement costs. So that uh, so is... You, that is you, you, you obviously uh, make a very solid case, Shreya. You, you come from that field and you know, you, you, uh, that's your field of startup, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah. You make a solid case, that's fine. But if that is the magic wand uh, to fight off the electricity crisis or to stave off the power shortages, which this country is all too familiar with. Remember uh, the rural household that you talk about or the tier two or tier three cities that you talk about are still in the epidemic grip of a power shortage. Epidemic yeah. grip. That's not a regular grip. It's an epidemic grip. Yeah. Then why is it your magic wand not solving all those problems? That's yeah, my last yeah. question to you, Shreya. No, that's a very good question. See, if you look at many other countries, uh, look at countries like Africa, which have massive power shortage. Citizens there, not just rural, but even urban citizens actually heavily rely on solar and battery for their power production, right? Even developed countries like Germany, 10% homes in Germany have solar, 5-7% homes in America have solar, 33% homes in Australia have solar, close to 7-8% homes in Brazil have solar. In India, we still have less than 1% homes having solar. And that, the reason for that, I believe, is that any new good technology, even if you see color TV, right, it takes a certain consumer adoption curve, a certain word of mouth and virality after which it becomes a household product. So very soon, I fundamentally believe rooftop solar will be ubiquitous. When you will land from your plane into a city, you will see black and blue panels everywhere. And just the way Australia has 33% penetration, I think India, everybody is looking at India to be the fastest growing and the largest residential solar market in the world. So I'm actually very confident that this will be a household product like your refrigerator and, you know, color TV. And it always helps that, you know, the government of the day and the, uh, and the big, political leader like the Prime Minister is backing this initiative. Thank you very much, Shreya Mishra, to speak, for speaking to NDTV. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me here.